Every day, we delight ourselves with the creatures that live in Goiwa National Park. Located on the Pacific coast of Panama, this UNESCO World Heritage Site, which stretches over 2,024 square kilometers, is home to around 760 different species of fish, turtles, various types of sharks, dolphins, as well as passing oceanic mantas, gentle whale sharks, and humpback whales. Unfortunately, not all encounters are as magical as one would hope for. Drifting nets and illegal fishing practices are a constant issue that is not uncommon to find animals caught in these deadly traps. A few months ago, we came across this well-designed contraption that had drifted right on top of one of the dive sites, Maho Pinyon. We found two white debris sharks caught in the net. We could save this little one. Sadly, we were too late for the other. With the aim of exploiting the fishery resources of Goiba, Substance, artisanal and sport fishing are allowed in over 70% of the area of the national park. While there is a management plan that details aspects such as species, amounts and types of fishing allowed, as well as fees, prohibitions, fines, sport fishermen are constantly seen disregarding the special zone of marine protection, within which any kind of fishing activity is prohibited. And this is not to mention all the other illegal fishing activities that go unseen and unpunished. Dive operators in the area do their best to act when they find animals in distress and while mostly futile, they report illegal activities to the authorities. Of course, we are well aware that this is not enough. While changing the laws of protection and the way in which these are enforced is not so easy, you can do your part. Here's a shout out to all of those who come to the area for fishing. Do it responsibly and don't support fishermen who pull in illegal species, use illegal fishing methods and fish in protected areas.